What up, what up, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 25 Alright Rank Match here today. We have the Seattle Seahawks going up against the Carolina Panthers, the updated 87 on 87 overall, I should say. Carolina Panthers. Man, these guys are beastly. So let me go on ahead and say, you see from the title, Simulation is here. We are doing from you know we're just gonna go back to playing sim you know no going for it on fourth downs you know using our special teams and relying on good decision making in order for me to win playing this way i really need to be effective on both sides of the ball and i only feel like it's gonna make me a better player you know what i mean if i get 14 inches i got a punter kick a field goal you know what i mean and that just lets me know that i gotta get these first downs within three downs you know what i mean so it's only going to make me better on offense you know what i mean and and uh and defensively i already know there's going to be a couple times a game i'm going to be giving the ball back to my opponent by punting the ball so i got to figure out a good defense and a good balance of being able to stop my opponent so again playing this way will only make you better as a player so third and one right here we really want this first down and look at the beautiful touch pass to Sidney Rice right there. Just nice pass over the top shoulder. And here we go, running the ball with Marshawn. The guy's a beast. Got to give him the ball as much as possible. Definitely don't want to take him out of the game plan. Try to screen, which was unsuccessful. Third and one, we tried to hit him with a zero. It was man-to-man. -man. It would have been wide open, but I just threw it way too soon. I, I don't really mess with C routes like that, but uh, it was just bad timing. On my end, if I would have waited another second, he would have been open on the sideline. But I, I just threw it too early. So, bad throw by me. So, here we go. Uh, we drop an interception right here. Here we go back on defense. And uh, third down right here. He drops back. Rolls outside the pocket with Cam. And he tries to throw it up top. But we swat that down. Now, this is why people are like, why do you go for it on fourth down? This is why. Your opponents do. He go for it on fourth down. Thankfully, we stop him. But your opponents are going to be going for it on fourth down. Your opponents are going to be getting extra possessions. Your opponents are going to have, you know, probably more offensive plays than you if you're going to be punting on fourth down and things like that. So that's why, you know, playing this way isn't played by too many people. Because your opponents are, you know, not only, like, he goes for it on fourth down all the time. And there's plenty of times where he gets it as we hit him with the back juke. There's plenty of times where he gets the first down, where his continuous drives where... I don't have any opportunity to continue my drive on fourth down. You know what I mean? But he does. And, and that's why a lot of people stay away from Sim. But, you know what I mean? We're, we're going to make it work. You know what I mean? We're going to find a way to, to continue winning this way. Like I said, it's only going to make you a better player. So, right there we get a random block shed, which we will take. And we end up getting the sack by uh, Clemens. So, here we go. Third and long. He rolls out. Throws on the run on the screen pass. And he gets really close to the first down. You know, fourth and two right here. And he decides to run the ball right up the middle. Good play call by him. I definitely wasn't expecting a run. So he picks up the first down. So right here, tries a pump fake right as he gets sacked. So uh, we're doing a good job of getting covered sacks. And this is what the Seahawks do well. They pick off passes. No, some of you. Give it to me, baby. Look at the concentration of my boy Cam Chancellor. To be able to just pick that pass off. The Seahawks have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous pass defense, man. And they are going to help me a ton when it comes to, you know, uh, defending the pass. So, uh, here we go right here. We try to run play. We are stop shy. And we end up kicking our field goal. Like I said, man, the fourth down swag is here in effect. This is how I'm just going to stick to playing from now on. And... Uh, we're up 10-0. So that right there is a multiple possession lead. And you got to love it. You know, anytime you go up more than one score, it's a safety blanket. No matter what he does on offense, you know, no matter what type of spectacular drive he has, I still have the lead no matter what, even if he scores. So uh, right there, uh, Camp goes on the run and uh, doesn't get anything. So second and 10, we end up sending a blitz and we end up coming through. So third and 17 right here. Let's see if we can force a fourth down playing some coverage. And he hits me with the corner route. Uh, he definitely loved bench. He loved, loved, loved him some bench. He comes out and snugs, and he looks for the corner out a lot, which, you know, it didn't take me too long to pick up on. Right there, it hits me with a read option. I was just not paying attention. I know I do a very good job of limiting, you know, read options, uh, home run ability. You know what I mean? Uh, I usually just shut that down. When I'm keying in on it, right there, I just wasn't 
even paying attention. I'm too much involved in trying to, you know, put some pass protection up. And he caught me off guard with a read option. So definitely good play by him. And Cam scampered in onto the end zone. So right here, all we're trying to do is hopefully get ourselves in field goal range. Third and 17 to avoid a punt. We really need this first down. And we end up going over the middle. And we pick up the first down, which allows us to continue the drive. Right here, we give the ball to Marshawn. And we get close to a first down. And that's all we want to do. You know what I mean? First downs are very important when you're playing sim. You got to be able to pick up some type of yards. You do not want to get stuck in second and third and tens. Those are very tough to try and uh, get first downs on. So, right, we hit him with an out route, figuring he was going to play some man-to-man -man defense, which we were correct. So, right here, time winding down. We look, we go over the middle. We hit him with the skinny, but he gets slapped out of his hands. So here we go, man. Second down right here. We try a screen. Just really quick pitch pass over there to Marshawn. And we get a great run on third and inches right here. We call a timeout. So right here, we're looking for the first down. And we end up uh, getting sacked. So we're uh, forced to go on ahead and kick our field goal. So we are going to go into halftime up 13 to 7. Could it be better? Yes, it could be. But nonetheless, we have a lead. You know what I'm saying? You can't complain about having a lead. So hopefully, this defense comes through for me. All I got to do is make sure he doesn't do a good job of running the ball, forcing the pass, and, you know, that he's going to play into the strengths of the Seahawks, and hopefully we can force another mistake or two. Like, that right there was huge, and it, just get him out of running. Get him out of running the ball, force him to pass, and, uh, you know, passing on this team, it's, it's not easy. So, right there, bad at pass. Look, the team is just so well. They do such a great job on defending the pass. Fourth down, he goes over the middle and picks up the first down. And that's what I'm talking about with, with people going for it on, on fourth downs, extending their drive and things like that. But right there, look at the computer coming through with another interception. Two beast. No of you. Give it to me, baby. Right there was such a huge, huge, huge play right there. We switched over to cover three because he went on ahead. And no, cover two, he went on ahead and no huddled. And that light blue zone just absolutely ball hawked the hell out of that pass. So uh, here we go right here. All we need is a field goal to go on ahead and get that two-possession lead. Right here, we give the ball to Marshawn. Third and seven right here. Let's see if we can pick up this first down. We give the ball to Marshawn, and he picks up the first down right up the middle, which is good, which, is, uh, which allows us to continue the drive. But more importantly, it allows us to consume some more time. And we go over the top uh, for a touchdown right there. He was definitely, you know, trying to defend the run, which, you know, allowed him. I think he ran commit on that pass. And uh, just allowed us for, you know, nobody behind us in the secondary, which was an easy touchdown. So, dropped interception right here. Second and 12, try to run the ball. And again, if we continue to do that, force him to pass the ball, uh, he's going to play right into our style of defense. So, uh, right here, we get a blitz and we end up getting another sack. So, fourth and 14 right here, trying to send some coverage. And he just gets the first down. Somehow he stays in bounds with good footwork, and then he ends up picking up the first down. So, good play by him. He just barely got it. Oh, man. So, here goes Cam with a quick pass over the middle, but he doesn't get anything. So, now, with the fourth quarter approaching, he pretty much has to depend on big plays. And, you know, so I know he's going to be passing the ball a lot. And, again, that plays right into what the, the Seahawks do well, which is defend the pass. So, we drop a user interception right here. Fourth down. Can we finally get a fourth down stop? He throws over the middle and he drops the pass and he gives us good field position right here. We hit him with a play action bootleg. And we're looking. We reroute somebody. We try to with a touch pass, but Rice is not fast enough to go on ahead and catch that. That right there would have been a beautiful pass. Uh, right here, we go to the triple option and we end up giving the ball to Marshawn and we get close to a first down. So, third and three. We try a quick jet sweep and oh, we just pick up the first down running with Harvin. So, uh, allows us to continue to drive, but more importantly, consume more time since we are already up in this ball game. So, second and ten, standing in the pocket, and we find Miller open. And whoop, excuse me, son, I got touchdowns to score. We actually are running pistol right here. They uh, suggested I went for two, which we do, and we end up converting. So, I am running pistol, and I'm not really passing the ball too much out of pistol because I know pistol is a playbook that's going to force me to run the ball. Way too many good passing. I mean, way too many good running plays for me to get away from the run. You know what I mean? I need to stick to running, play through the run, develop the passing game through running the ball effectively. And that's what made me so good on PlayStation 3 is the fact that I was running the ball more than passing and I was having a lot of success. Ever since I came to next gen, 
I've just been a, a passing slut. <laughs> I've just been passing all day, getting away from the run, which is very important in the game of Madden, to be able to move the ball, tire out the defense. You're going to be able to, you know, control the clock and the pace of the game. So, Pistol has a playbook full of amazing runs. And if you feel like you're getting away from the run, just go to Pistol. You're definitely going to have fun again running the ball. So, uh, that's what I'm, you know, sticking with now. So, tries a corner out right there. We uh, played that very well. We swapped that down. Tries to sneak in a run. And uh, the run really hasn't been working out too well for him. It's just been resulting in a lot a lot of his sticks for us. So first down right here, we ran commit and he actually sends a pass. Good play by him. Go to a corner route. He decides to go for two and he gets stopped shy. So right here, we're pretty much expecting an onside. We come out with the hands team and we do recover the ball. So at this point, you know, game is in hand. You know what I mean? As long as we're not forced to uh, punt the ball, we should be okay. But we're already close to field goal range thanks to the onside. So uh, right here, we just run the ball with Marshawn. We get close. Third and four right here. Two-minute warning is here. We run the ball, and we end up getting stopped shy. Now, this was tough. I do kick the field goal, and I miss. Now, let me explain a couple things. Fourth and inches was tough because if I get the first down, game is over. I mean, he only has two timeouts. He's going to start wasting them. I'm just going to waste the time. Game is over if I got the first down. But, you know, that's not how we're playing anymore. We're going to play Sim. I kicked the field because I played a lot of Madden this day. This was probably like my fifth or sixth game. And uh, I, I was just tired of just sitting up. I laid down. I'm not going to lie. True story. I laid down for a little bit. I had a good enough lead. I'm up two score. Like, you know, let me lay down a little bit. I kicked the field goal laying down. I will never do that again. I'm going to make sure I'm sitting upright so I can pay attention so I could read where I'm directioning the kick. Me, just not... I didn't direct that very well. It was just a bad kick. I should have made it. But right there, we get another interception on the sideline. We've been doing just a tremendous job of being able to uh, defend his passes. And that has a lot to do with the Seahawks just being so dominant, you know, on that part of the defense, which is defending the run. And as you see, we jumped out to an, an amazing, uh, amazing lead. And game is over. 50 seconds left, fourth quarter is here. You know, game is over. So we did a very good job of defending him. We did a very good job. First and foremost, man, the first thing we did was forcing him to pass the ball. First thing we did good was not allowing him to have any success running the ball, which forces him to pass, and that's where the Seahawks shine because they're so tough to pass on. You know, and another thing we did well is getting first downs on offense, not putting us... We didn't have to punt the ball now one time. Every time we got the ball, we moved the ball, we got in at least field goal range, and we scored every time we had the ball. At least I don't think, I don't remember punting. If I did, I'm sorry. My, my memory ain't all that great. I don't remember punting the ball. And uh, we played, you know, a very good game, controlled the style of pace, and that's exactly what we want. So that's the end of the game, guys. And we got 10 points. You know what I mean? Kicking field goals, playing sim. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.